particular report um, is not a British government report, in the except in the sense that we publish it. And as I think you'll, you'll see as I get into this and expand on it a little, we've relied on experts from something of the order of 20 or so countries and 100 or so individual experts from this variety. So this is very much an international report. While the effects uh, of computer-based trading are somewhat controversial, the predominance of the evidence suggests that they have several beneficial effects on markets. So in particular, they have positive contribution to liquidity as measured by bid-ask spreads and other more elaborate uh, spread measures. They have a positive contribution uh, to transaction costs. Minimum resting times, as you know, has made it into the MIFID II proposal as it currently stands. And it means that every limit order you put in, you have to leave it in there for 500 milliseconds. You can't remove and cancel it immediately. You have to wait for a certain amount of time. And so basically the big message here is that that's not a fantastic idea. And if market makers, if limit order suppliers continue to submit the same limit orders with that rule, then they are currently without that rule, then if we all found a new hedge fund, we could pick them off and earn around 1.33 billion euros in, in Europe. That to me means that people will no longer submit those same limit orders because they do not want to give us 1.33 billion uh, euros and therefore people will do is they will just widen their bid ask spreads because if I give an option away I get compensated for adoption by having a bid ask spread so I would like to be more compensated for what I now give away is uh, being more valuable and so bid ask spreads will be uh, higher and depth will be lower. In the report uh, a number of priorities for actions are laid out and um, the primary ones have already been touched on several times. So uh, coordination of circuit breakers, both ex post and ex ante, and also possibly coordination of tick sizes across multiple trading venues, both within any one country and also within any, kind of within any geographic area. We also uh, argue that um, other mechanisms for managing and modifying the potential adverse side effects of computer-based trading and high-frequency trading should be assessed and introduced. And in particular, uh, we see a necessity for standards with specific reference to clock synchronization. So the, the final recommendation that, that we put forward is that uh, perhaps it would be a good idea if a European financial data center was established which could uh, receive, warehouse and repurpose financial data from all primary European markets in order that we can better understand what's going on and better prevent ad adverse events.